Hi there, in our previous lesson, we used a text field for our color field. Here we demonstrate how we can use a color select for color selection. We edit our color field, and then we change the component type to color select, and then save the updated field properties. Let us preview the updated form again. The color has now been changed to a drop-down. This will work properly after the project is compiled. Let's also open the grid view and also make the table color to be a color select. We select the column field, this activates a drop-down of options, and then we choose the color select. So for both the form and table, the color will be a color select element. The changes we made were on the data model, we need to delete the view and recreate it. We convert the model to a page and after that recompile our project. The project has been compiled, we wait for it to be opened, then run it, so that we can see the new changes. The storybook has opened our project directly, let's run it. As you can see, the color elements are now using a color select and no longer a text field. All we have to do is to select the color we want to change it to. We will address the issue of inline editing a little later, because when we refresh, the old colors are shown. However, when we do edits via the form, the changed colors are persisted to the database. For now that's it, we have changed an element for both the form and table to a color select.